welcome to my channel my name is Val and this time I'm going to work on the antique Seth Thomas wall clock which doesn't work it stops after a few hours and cannot complete its usual cycle of seven days so it definitely needs some attention I disassembled the clock and started to investigate the escapement part the verge in particular and I noticed that the verge has visible signs of long use the pilots are worn out but in addition I suspected that the impulse faces on both pilots are formed on their own lift angles but how can I correct these defects without having special tools and I started reading many articles books and forum conversations on the topic of the deadbeat escapement and how it is built very useful for my research were articles the use of computer aided design in clock making written by David Labounty and the history design and repair of the deadbeat escapement written by Michael Dempsey after some time I have acquired the knowledge of the escapement internals and finally came to the idea on how to get my task done these are the impulse faces of the pilots they are formed by applying a 2 degrees lift angle rule and this picture shows interaction between pallets and teeth of the escape wheel here is the drawing that helped me to get the idea on how I should proceed and it became the most important part in helping me to achieve the goal notice the circles and tangents next to them and how all this fits in regards of verge and its impulse faces this is the key we need to measure the distance from the arbor center to the middle point of the impulse face of the pallet then this number should be divided by two this gives a radius of the circle and the tangent to the circle by theory represents a two degree lift angle that's required to form a pallet's impulse face then we strike a tangent to the circle that's all we need to proceed for making the jig which can be used to grind the impulse faces with the proper lift angle the rest of the video will show how I constructed a simple jig to achieve the goal simply using a regular bench grinder so this is uh, another circle over here and if I will put arbor over here and rotate verge until it will meet this tangent I will see which angle I should grind to satisfy this direction and this is for entrance verb uh, verge and for exit and I rotate verge again until it will meet this tangent and again I will see how these angles are different or or the same should I grind it or not so I, I took this piece of wood and I make this line with distance exactly of this of that uh, 
half distance from arbor to to the verge and so this will be this line on this line I will drill one hole with the size of this arbor and arbor size is Three point five millimeters. So I made hole here, and I cut this piece of wood so it will enter between this disc and the motor. And I am inserting this arbor, and it goes pretty tight, which I want, so it will not vibrate and it goes to this edge and I put wood here and I align the this piece of wood with the stone so they will barely touch each other and I clamp it here So now I have this leverage to precisely cut my uh, verge at the desired angle. And this is the cut. So to cut another end of the verge, the exit end, I rotated the verge so this end aligned with this line. But because I cut this piece of wood, I'm using another piece to just check how this end is aligned with with this line. So first I want to put some protection on the pivot, some, some piece of brass, then I align the verge with that line like this and then I will clamp it here so it cannot move in, in there in this direction and also I will remove this support So I cut both ends of the verge and now I should try it on the clock. Thanks for watching. If you like the video please give it a like. Also subscribe to the channel and check the bell to get notified about my new videos and i'll see you next time bye now